Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Manny the Phenom, doing something different. Didn't want to do another time lapse video with, with like no commentating because to me that's boring. So I'm gonna talk over this one. Sorry about the bad audio. I'm talking into my tablet, so I'm gonna get a mic soon. Uh, I just want to walk through what I want my process here, and maybe I can help you guys a little bit if you're a beginning colorist. So. Uh, I'm not used to watercolors. This is me practicing with watercolors. I like the look of it, so I'm experimenting and learning as I go here. I, I laid down the base first, a nice pink pink base. It's not like an even, and then there's some white spots, but that's kind of the beauty of watercolor. It's not perfect, so it makes a unique look in the finished product. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this all on one layer. Usually I separate layers, but with this, I just kept everything on one layer. And I'm adding shadows and light as I go. Now I go to Thor's hair. Blonde. By the way, this is Sean Shen. You can check him out on Instagram. He has awesome artwork. He drew this, and I'm just coloring it so I can practice and learn more about coloring and get better at it. So I can color comics in the future. Drawing is hard. Inking is hard, so <laughs> coloring seems to be the easiest thing for me. Coloring and inking, but inking is challenging too. There's a lot of technique with that. So coloring is just fun to me. It, it is tedious, but out of the three between penciling, making the drawing, inking, and coloring, coloring seems the thing I go to the most. It, I like it the most. It's easy, it's the easiest thing for me to understand and get. And yeah, there's still a lot to learn. I'm not perfect at it, but work in progress. different ways you can color it's when you're starting a project most of the time I add flats first the base color and then I'll go in later on separate layers and add the shadow and light and then any special effects after that but with this one I'm doing it all in the same layer and I'm kind of doing shadows and light at the same time for whatever reason I was trying that out experimenting Part of Sean Shen, that's, that's seemingly like, it looks like a scar on his face. This is based off of Thor from the movie, so that threw me off because Thor doesn't have a scar on his face. So I was like, is this a scar or is this his, it's like supposed to be a shadow part? Uh, like his hairline. I, I wasn't sure what the artist was trying to do there, so I just made it a scar and left it alone. Now I'm going back in to add darker shadows to accentuate the curves and creases. It makes it pop more when you when you in contrast with the light. Add the dark shadows and you can really see the folding. I'm trying to add some green and yellow highlights just to mix up the color variation. Uh, I'm 
trying to get away from, like, if you have a, say, his boot is blue, I don't want to make the shadow and light like a light blue and just a little darker blue for the shadow. Uh, in real life, there's different colors and there's different mixes. I'm trying to learn how to be more creative in the sense to add different hues. Like, if, if you have a, a, like a silver, let's just... Let's, Let's just use his arm for, for instance. His arm is silver and kind of reflective. And he's out in space and there's a lightning bolt in the background. What colors are the stars in space and the lightning bolt? That color will reflect off of his silver arm. So his arm will not just be gray, it will be different hues of gray. And also maybe pink or, or yellow or blue depending on the stuff around him. I'm just practicing more and more trying to figure out how to make the right decisions when it comes to, to that. Like, how do I decide and how do I know what color to reflect off the clothing and hair and skin, armor and weapons? I'm trying to figure all that out. So I just gotta keep practicing. Coming back, I'm going to add another shadow layer just to make this bad boy pop a little bit further. It's important to step away from your art because, like, when you zoom in and you're looking at one spot too long, you kind of lose the big picture and how all the shadows and light and colors are working together in the, in the whole piece. So what I do is I'll have a separate window open in Photoshop with my artwork and I'll have it really small so I can see it teeny tiny and to, to get a good grasp on how it looks from afar. And uh, there you have it, that's Thor. <laughs> <laughs> 